The title of my presentation is uh, Adoption and Impact of uh, Restaurants uh, Resistance with Varieties on Productivity and Commercialization, Empirical Evidence from RC and West RC Zones. Uh, in this presentation, I'll follow uh, this uh, outline. First, uh, I'll say a few things about uh, its production as a background, then the objective of the study, then uh, methodology of the study, then results in discussion, uh, summary and conclusion, finally, the recommendation. Uh, in Ethiopia, wheat is uh, considered as uh, a strategic food security crop. Uh, thus, the government of Ethiopia has made a huge uh, uh, investment in the development and dissemination of uh, wheat uh, technologies. Over the past years, a number of wheat technologies are uh, developed and, and promoted. However, wheat production and uh, productivity affected by biotic uh, constraints, mainly uh, rust. Uh, Disease. In response to this uh, devastating disease, uh, government of uh, Ethiopia and other uh, uh, institutions engaged in demonstration and promotion and popularization of uh, uh, newly released wheat varieties. The ultimate goal of this uh, uh, generation and dissemination of high yielding varieties is to reduce hunger, malnutrition, poverty, and increase the incomes of smallholder. Uh, farmers, since this paper is initiated to document the efforts uh, done by government or organization and NGOs to promote intervention efficiently and equitably and to justify investment in such technologies. When I just come to the objectives, the general objective of this study is to estimate the impact of uh, uh, adoption of improved wheat varieties on wheat productivity and commercialization for wheat producers in the study area where with regard to the specific, the specific objectives. The first specific objective is to identify the de determinants of adoption of improved wheat varieties. And the second one is to estimate uh, the impact of uh, improved wheat varieties on wheat productivity and commercialization. We are, we, when I come to the metrology, uh, the sampling procedure which uh, followed is a multi-stage uh, and simple uh, random simple uh, sampling uh, method and uh, first purposefully we selected uh, uh, the, the two districts from uh, the two zones namely RC and West RC zone from them uh, Gadabasaza from uh, West RC and Hitosa uh, from uh, RC zones and finally we uh, selected a total of uh, 158 farm households by, ran by random sampling uh, technique method. So with regard to uh, the methods uh, employed in order to uh, identify the determinants of uh, the adoption models, we applied uh, a double hardened model which is uh, uh, mostly used uh, in many studies uh, in uh, measuring or estimating uh, uh, Determinants of adoption models. He, uh, the double header model has uh, two uh, uh, equations, as the name itself implies. The first uh, equation, this, uh, this equation is for determining the, de the determinants of uh, uh, adoption. F farmers make two decisions uh, during adoption of uh, 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 agricultural technologies or particularly improved with varieties. First, they make uh, decision on whether to accept uh, or to adopt or not. Then second, uh, given uh, after deciding to adopt what uh, they decide is on how much area or resources uh, to, uh, to use or to, to, for example, in this case, how much area to uh, allocate for improved with varieties. The second uh, equation, this one is for the determination of uh, the uh, determinants of uh, improved with varieties uh, on level of adoption. The other uh, main interest of this paper is uh, on uh, estimation of uh, the impacts of uh, uh, the impacts of this adoption uh, of uh, improved with technologies. The first uh, method is uh, using propensity score matching in order to uh, see the treatment effect difference between adopters and non-adopters. The second one is the generalized propensity score matching methods in order to see the treatment effects 
difference among the adopters. These are uh, the variables uh, which are uh, employed in estimation of the uh, determinants of adoption and impulse of adoption. The treatment variables here are adopters and non-adopters. Adopters uh, are considered as farmers who planted any of the improved wheat varieties respectively of the area planted. Non-adopters are considered here as who didn't, uh, farmers who didn't cultivate any of the improved wheat varieties. The outcome variables which we here use is uh, uh, the productivity of wheat and uh, commercialization. When we come to the results, as the study found that among the total sample uh, respondents, about 58% were adopters of uh, uh, res resident with varieties. On the, uh, on the other hand, on average, the adopters are located about 73% uh, of their total wheat area to uh, res uh, resident uh, improved wheat varieties. The other uh, uh, finding is, on average, the area planted with improved wheat varieties was 1.3 uh, hectare, which accounts 73% of the total wheat area. This is a descriptive result of uh, uh, farm household characteristics between uh, adopters and non-adopters. As you can see, in most of the uh, household characteristics, these two groups, adopters and non-adopters, are uh, significantly different. For instance, in terms of uh, family force, uh, adopters have, uh, on average, has about 4.6, which means around five family size compared to the uh, adopters, which is also found significant. When we come to the adoption, uh, the first uh, estimation is the decision to adopt improved with varieties. Here we found about five uh, significant uh, variables. Uh, for instance, gender of household age, active family force, uh, farming experience, uh, uh, output market distance or proximity to market, and also agricultural uh, locational variables also included. It also uh, found significant, which this uh, all uh, significant variables were uh, found to be important uh, variables in affecting the likelihood of uh, farmers to uh, adopt. The other is the second decision. After they deciding uh, to adopt, or the, uh, after they decided to adopt, the next decision is on how much area or uh, on how much resources to allocate. Based on that, this study found uh, around four uh, uh, variables to be significant. The first one is farm size. The second, oxen ownership. Uh, the third, credit access. The other is participation in which uh, technologies were uh, found to be important variables in affecting the level of improved with uh, varieties adoption. The other is after, uh, conduct, uh, after conducting uh, the adoption, uh, determinants of adoption, uh, what we uh, do is, uh, what we done is uh, try to estimate the impact of uh, adoption of improved wheat varieties in terms of productivity and commercialization. Before uh, conducting or before carrying out the uh, impact uh, analysis, we have to check uh, some uh, testers. This figure below shows the histogram of the uh, estimated propensity scores for adopters and non-adopters. As you can see, there is uh, a substantial overlap in the distribution of uh, the prosperity scores of both adopters and the non-adopters. So this, uh, sh uh, this, this makes matching, uh, matching can be, uh, you know, can be carried out. So this is also another uh, uh, presentation in order to check whether the two groups are matched be after matching. Uh, or, or, uh, the two groups overlaid after matching or not. This is visually, we can, we can, you can inspect that before matching, uh, uh, the, the two groups are much different, but after we, uh, after we match, the two groups overlap, so it's now easy to carry out or to estimate the impact, uh, uh, the impact of, uh, of the, uh, the impact of adopters, uh, 
adoption of improved bit variables. So the other uh, is uh, what we have done is uh, try to check based on these uh, uh, indices which found in the first column of the table, try to check the quality of the matching. So this shows uh, the low uh, CDO R square, low mean standard bears high uh, bias reduction and the insignificant p-values of the likelihood test after matching suggests that the proposed specification of the prospect score is fairly successful in terms of balancing the distribution of covariates between uh, the two groups. So after doing this, we are now able to uh, estimate uh, the impacts of improved with our varieties without uh, uh, bias. So when we come to the first uh, estimation of the impact of improved with, uh, uh, improved with variates, uh, adoption of improved with variates on wheat productivity, uh, the result reveals that the uh, impact of uh, adoption of improved with varieties on productivity was uh, found positive and significant at 1%. This is found significant at 1%. This shows improved with varieties uh, uh, improved with variety adoption, on average, increased productivity of all farmers by uh, uh, 1.24 ton per hectare. The other is impact of adoption of improved with varieties on commercialization. Uh, the result reveals that the, imp the impact of adoption of improved wheat varieties on commercialization was uh, found positive and significant. Uh, this shows uh, improved wheat varieties adoption on average increased commercialization of all farmers by about 13.6%. Uh, the other is uh, using the general prospectivity score matching. We estimated the impact of uh, uh, adoption of improved wheat varieties on probability of commercialization. This shows uh, the result reveals that the probability of uh, commercialization increases as uh, uh, area devoted, the area devoted, uh, uh, devoted to improve the variety increases. The figure one A shows as, area, as uh, the horizontal one is the uh, area uh, allocated to improve the varieties, the vertical one is uh, the expected probability of commercialization. As the area, as the area of improved wheat allocated uh, to improve the variety increases, the uh, probability of commercialization uh, increases. The other one is impact of area devoted to uh, improved wheat varieties on uh, quantity of uh, wheat sold. This also shows increasing area of improved wheat variety increases the quantity of uh, wheat, uh, wheat produce sold. Uh, according to both graphs, the study reveals that uh, the change is even more sensitive for larger uh, wheat farm sizes. Oh, sorry. So when I come to su the, uh, the summary and conclusion, the study conducted in RCN West RC zones of Ethiopia with objectives of identifying determinants of adoption and evaluation of uh, the impact of adoption on productivity and commercialization. Uh, the study employed a double herd model to identify the determinants of adoption and level of adoption. And also, uh, the prospect score matching is used to estimate or to evaluate the impact of adoption on the outcomes. And the general uh, prospect score matching as well also used to evaluate the continuous treatment factors on commercialization among adopters. So the results provide empirical evidence that agricultural technology, particularly improved with varieties, can contribute to improving productivity and commercialization of uh, farm households. Moreover, the impact of improved with varieties was differentiated by the level of adoption of improved with varieties. It, uh, there was heterogeneous effects of uh, the impact of adoption of uh, improved, uh, improved with varieties among adopters. So the recommendation is wide dissemination of improved wheat varieties enhances adoption and uptake of uh, improved wheat varieties by the farmer, along with improved wheat uh, technologies, effective extension service, uh, efficient input provision, scaling up of the bait practice of adopters should be placed as uh, uh, complementary measures. 
So my acknowledgement goes uh, go to Ethiopian Institute of Agricultural Research and Columbus Agricultural Research Center for funding this study. Also, I would like to uh, acknowledge Haramayan University. So thank you for your attention.